Thank you, Sonu. Thank you for, so much. Sir. Uh, taking the time to be here with us today. So, friends, when you log on to the website, Sue Charity Foundation, the words that greet you are, we are a young-blooded, multifaceted organization filled with immense passion and a belief that everything is possible with the right amount of determination. These words could not be more fitting, a description for a man who's now become symbolic to just a in a deal of Bollywood. We all saw the same plight of uh, the migrant labor. We saw them. This, the difference was this man decided to make a difference itself and took a decision from what started off as just getting people together, getting them homes, getting meals, uh, has gone on to become a movement in its own way. I'm told there are now close to about 15 core projects that you're supporting. But Sonu, tell us, tell us the story of, you know, you saw something because it was all locked down, you heard something, you, you came around. What triggered that first action for you? Hi, good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you so much uh, for uh, this honor, sir. And, uh, I remember when I came from Moga, uh, I finished my engineering from Nagpur and I thought, you know, I want to become an actor. Uh, went from office to office, uh, uh, did a couple of films down different languages and I thought that, you know, I've achieved something that I came for. But then finally, um, something happened in life during the COVID. Uh, when I was distributing food, I remember it was uh, at Thana, uh, at a place called Kalba Chong, where every day I used to go with a truck uh, full of fruits and used to wait for all these people to, uh, you know, come. And then I met this family who um, had these little kids who said, you know, can you pack food for 10 days? And I said, why 10 days? They said, we want to walk back to Bangalore. So I said, can I try to get permissions for uh, some transport? And they said, it's not possible. And I remember from there, I straight away went to Thana uh, uh, Police Station, and I said, you know, I want to get this permission. They said, it's not possible. So I said, uh, but still they're going to walk down uh, you know, all the way, which is going to take 10, 12 days. So is there any way that I can help them? They said, get the permission from that state. We will do something. Somehow, uh, I got that permission. And uh, that was the first time those 10 buses with almost 350 individuals left. And when I was seeing them off, you know, they had tears in their eyes and they thought that we won't be able to reach back to our families alive, but now we are going. And when they reached back, so I think that was one thing that changed everything in my life. I thought this is not the story of all those 350 people, but millions who are walking down the road. And that's how it started. And I don't know how I got the permission for the buses, for the flights, for the trains. But I think all the families who are waiting for their loved ones in the villages in UP, Bihar, Jharkhand, across the country. And I think those wishes made that happen. And uh, in no time, I realized that we almost connected to seven and a half lakh migrants and help them go back to their homes. So fantastic. This <clears throat> fantastic, fantastic. I'm told now that, uh, tell the audience, I mean, I'm, I'm told you still, you even now get some thousands of WhatsApp yeah. messages and mails or whatever. How many of you uh, it's been two years, we still get almost close to 35 to 40,000 mails, messages, WhatsApp, all put together every single day. And uh, it's very tough. A lot of people come to my house every, every day, almost 400, 500 people. They sleep in front, in front of my house. I try to go every day when I'm traveling. I speak to them on a video call. Even my milk man who used to uh, supply milk to uh, every single flat in the building, he's become kind of a manager. Uh, who's, uh, you know, taking all those forms, getting them filled, and we, we, we connect to all these people. And, and most of the people, sir, who are uh, in our uh, network, they are the ones we help them go back to their homes or find them jobs. So these are the ones who are trying to help others save those lives. You know, we are into medical education, oh, that's... Um, speaking to pharmaceutical companies, hospitals, education institutes. So I think um, it's not just me. A lot of people across the country who want to uh, do good, they have become a, a part of, uh, you know, our journey. And hey, but you've, how... you've been, you've, you've made, you've created a little movement and it's wonderful that you're making different institutions come together. So I'm told that, uh, sure, you know, we are at a, 
IA award and uh, this is a, the International Advertising Association, you know, all the marketeers, uh, agencies. Uh, I'm told that some of the work that you've done, I'm not going to name a hospital, but in order to do work or representation, is it true that instead of, you know, taking yeah. fee, you said, I will take some 50 liver transplants? Yeah, uh, I, I'll just share a small journey. I, I went to Dubai for an event, and as soon as I landed in Dubai, so this gentleman who came to me and he said, you know, my name is Wilson and I'm from so-and-so hospital. So, no, first he got a, just a picture clicked, and he said, then he said, you know, I, my name is Wilson and I'm from um, these group of hospitals, and you've done a bone marrow transplant in Bangalore and a liver transplant in Kerala. So, um, we would like to associate with you. And I said, okay, sir, let's catch up over a cup of coffee, and we sat. And he said, you know, we want you to be the face of our hospital. So, you know, they started talking numbers. So he said, I don't want anything. Just give me 50 liver transplants. And those 50 liver transplants cost almost 12 and a half crores, you know, uh, 25 to 28 lakhs. So we've already completed nine, 41 still to go in that particular hospital. So this is... Oh, it's happened. wonderful. <laughs> Friends, I've been associated... Uh, you know, with the broader media entertainment industry for two decades. I see my good friend Sabas there at the back. Uh, Sabas and I, uh, and I mean, Sabas initiated something, you know, you recollect during the HELP program, which was the big tsunami. Uh, Ranveer is here with us, uh, and, you know, true representation of what our industry has been. It's true that whenever there has been a calamity, Whenever there has been a movement, you know, which could be this, there is skirmishes at the border or this battle, our industry has come forward. And I know enough number of people, apart from their public figures, I know the kind of causes Ranveer himself supports. You've chosen to take this movement in a different way. And one of the things, as a dog lover, which touched me the most, was the manner in which you are, uh, you know, uh, taking up uh, and, and giving shelter, you know, to these stray, uh, lovely uh, animals that are there. So tell us about that. Um, you know, all, all the things that I've been doing, you know, I was not trained to do and I don't know how to do that, but I think... Uh, uh, when you when you come across all these incidents, you do it. I, I uh, you know, we we um, apart from the things that we do for stray animals, also we do. There are a couple of people who um, uh, are very uh, actively involved, who stay close to my building. They said, "Sir, you have been doing so much for the humans, so why not for you know all these animals and stray dogs and cats?" So during the pandemic, we started uh, you know uh, providing shelter to them. It's 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 a place close to Shirdi, close to Thane, and. Uh, Yes, they, they are the actual uh, feeders. We, we just support them and, uh, you know, this is how uh, the family, uh, you know, extends, yeah. No, I think, I think it's remarkable, guys. And uh, I think to bring uh, people together and to sustain this, you know, we went through, you've, in a way, like you've said, it's, you've institutionalized it. Uh, I'm hoping that, you know, you've tried to co-opt. Uh, my last question to you is really about, uh, over the last several years, uh, corporate social responsibility has become a very big thing. Uh, Government of India has now even allocated for this certain percentage to profit that needs to be earmarked. Uh, we all uh, are in a world market, numerous brands from across the world, uh, in some more much sort of, mature markets, consumers are not even making choices of brands yeah. unless and until there is a cause that is associated, uh, whether it's to do with the environment, whether it's to do with how uh, they are ensuring that, uh, you know, girl children are being uh, uh, educated, whether it's to do with uh, not uh, supporting brands that are in any manner doing child labor, etc. What would your message be? How can a group like this associate with things that you are doing and what our industry itself has been? I think Mirko Lakta, Ranveer Kabi Kabi, we are called upon from different places to participate. 
but can this potentially become into more of an institutional approach? Because you people have the power, you know, you, you reach hundreds of millions of consumers. How do you echo the whole concept of giving back? Through little things, little actions. Uh, would love to hear your thoughts on that. So I always say when, when we talk about charity, giving back to the society, and when we discuss that, you know, that, um, that feeling stays for uh, some time, maybe for a day or a few hours, and then we all get busy in our lives. You know, we get into shootings, we get into the work that we do, and somewhere uh, the zeal that we uh, had takes a little back step and we get again, um, uh, you know, busy in our lives. So I, when I started the whole thing, you know, when I was into education or uh, medical, so a lot of people who uh, were uh, having foundations or NGOs, they said, so no, it's not possible, you know, there's 150 crore people in the country and, you know, when once they see that you're helping, everyone is going to come and it's not going to um, stay the way you want. So you have to choose a field, you know, whether you want to get into medical or whether you want to get into uh, education or any kind of a thing. Just choose one thing and just cater to that. Don't get into everything. So um, I said, let me try. And uh, I, I, I got into everything and still it's happening. So all the people who, um, um, you know, are experienced. So I, I always believe that, you know, uh, there's no harm in trying different avenues. You never know that you can reach out to more people. Uh, yes. Um, uh, especially people in the corporate world have really inspired me, you know, when I sit with them and when I listen to them that how they've uh, been doing work. So it's, it's really um, very motivating and still, you know, my, 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 my foundation is just two years old, you know, and uh, um, I still want to spend time with you guys, learn from you, uh, teach me anything, you know, I'm a good learner. But I promise you that uh, like a good student, I'll uh, try to bring many more smiles together and, uh, you know, the, sir, I just want to, you know, uh, since I'm with the advertising word, I just want to share something. Please. Um, my manager, Tishai, is also standing here, you know. When, when I came, uh, Ranveer, I want to share with you also, when I, when I came, you know, uh, to become an actor, someone offered me, yaar, isko negative role dete hai. Bola ki, yaar, director ko pada hi nahi hai, yaar, mere ko negative role kaise de sakta hai, hai, hero banne hai, hai. And, you know, but they said, you know, beggars are not the choosers, I was new, and I did the first negative role. Uh, the film became a big hit in South, and I started doing many negative roles, and I did positive roles, parallel roles, whatever so I was doing. So I, uh, was not getting many brands to sign. So I asked my manager, I said, I don't want to work. There are so many people who ads, I don't want to have a brand. He said, we do a pitch, but the advertising world people say, they have a role in a negative role. So the image is a bit negative. You know, it's very tough for us to promote the brand. I said, okay, it's done. So then the pandemic started. We were doing all things. So all the brands who rejected me in all those 18 years, I signed in one and a half years, most of them. <laughs> well, <laughs> All I can say to you, Sonu, is keep doing it with the sincerity with which you are. Be true and honest to the work that you do, and I know that that, that is the way you do it. And uh, there is no two ways about it, that those brands will come to love you more and more, and you will send that message across. Thank you so much for being thank, a part so of the IA Leadership you. Awards. Ladies and gentlemen, Sonu Sood. Thank you so much. Thank you.